Today I want to share a tip with you around how to maximize your sales. Basically when you sell anything, how to maximize the return you get from any sale. Now, it's not just maximizing the return I guess from any sale, but maximizing the return from the marketing activity that got a customer's attention, how to make sure you get the most out of that. Not in a pushy, kind of cheesy, over the top way or like the common thing where you hear people saying, would you like fries with that approach? Like the McDonald's approach, you know, sell the burger and then upsell the, the fries and the Coke. Um, but what you can do in a nice value add way for your customers, so you don't want to be just like pushing things for the sake of pushing things. However, if somebody buys a product or service from you, it is a good idea to think about what else could you offer to them in sequence that would be of value to them. Like when you purchase a product on say a platform like eBay or some e-commerce stores where you purchase a product and it says people who bought this are also interested in this. Now, obviously the more it relates to the first product that you're buying, the better, like someone's buying a, a TV, you know, and then it has kind of extra extension cables that people might have been interested, you know, so it actually relates or whatever the, the offering is. Um, relates to the first purchase. If you can do that, the better. But you want to think about anything you sell, what else could you let the customer know about? Because oftentimes, all too often actually, as marketers and business owners, we assume that the customers know everything we sell. And it's oftentimes not the case. You know, we're, the, the customers are busy as well. They just look at the one thing they want. But if they did know you have these other things as well, there would be a percentage of, of people who would go on and buy that. So making sure you do show customers who buy anything, what else you have. Uh, other little good tips to include too, after someone buys from you, let them know about other things you have. As I've just said, we call that selling in sequence. And also try to provide some unexpected value. So if you can provide like a bonus resource or some information or a little tack on extra bonus little product or something, that's how you create raving fans. So when someone buys something, imagine if it was the reverse approach where uh, McDonald's say, would you like fries with that or whatever? I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll take that. And then they said, cool. And we'll also just out of the blue, we're gonna give you a random apple pie, you know, free or something. We'd go away and sing their praises. So just look at what else, what unexpected bonus. Sometimes it could be just a, a great article you've written on your website that you know is really valuable. Could be sharing that, you know, with anyone who purchases something, just something to provide a bit of unexpected value. And if you really wanna try to maximize things, somewhere after anyone's purchase from you, at some point, look to invite them to refer a friend. So it might be through an email that goes out, say three days after somebody purchases a product, purchases a product or service from you, you'd then send out an email and say, hey, you know, I, I, I'd love to know how you're going with product XYZ or service or whatever they did, uh, whatever they bought from you. And we'd love it if you let any of your friends know about our products or services. That's a big way, you know, of how, or big part of how we grow our business. And you could even, you know, offer them a, a voucher or something which they could send to their friend. But if not, that's okay too. Just simply asking for the referral will already put you kind of like leaps and bounds, usually ahead of your competition uh, in terms of that kind of follow-up process. So good little tips there for you to look to kind of maximize the return from any of the marketing activities you do that generate any new customers for you. Any questions or anything, feel free to get in touch with the team here at Basic Bananas. That's why we're here to look after you. So feel free to get in touch and hopefully we'll see you soon.